All right, so just coming out today, I'm gonna be doing some stuff with the 88, but I just wanna give you guys a look at those lights. I noticed this one's missing, so I'm gonna track this one down, but everything else seems like it's looking pretty good. Pretty much wanted to show you guys the new headlights. Um, but yeah, let's see, they're nice and bright. They still need to be adjusted, but they're looking pretty good. So we'll still have to wire up um, the high beams. I think one of them's there, the other one's cut, but you guys kinda, you guys get the, get the idea. Nice and bright. Don't wanna blind you guys too much, but yeah. So that's pretty much how I'm starting out today. Let's give you guys a look at that. Um, I'll get the garage opened up and garage opened up and I'll go over some stuff I'm gonna be doing today mostly I think I'm gonna start on cutting out the truck enclosure but I don't think I have enough wood to do the whole thing so try to use as much set as I can probably be able to do the base and the sides maybe not the back part but other than that what else is on the list? Uh, get the parking lights swapped out. So we got the new ones right there. So get those swapped out for them. Um, let's see. Try to tighten up these brake lines. I think one of them's leaking. So tighten that up, top it off a little bit. And then the other thing, I would open the door, but the bike's in the way. So the other thing, I have an L bracket piece of metal. And I think I'm gonna go in and cut that and then make a brace for the shifter because there's no front bracket on there. So I know he wants to swap out the shifter eventually, but I think once the brace is there, it's gonna make it a lot easier to shift. Um, and then if not, you'll still have a, a bracket there for uh, the next one, if it's the same kind of bolt pattern or not. So get to doing that the floor is looking pretty good like I said it's not the best just have a couple pieces to patch in so might work on that too because I'll have to use a welder for that building that bracket for the shifter so might build that and then fill out these little little gaps in here um, but yeah the seam filler will come later this week along with cleaning the floor up again or a little bit better and then coating it so yeah that's all I have planned for that just some just some small stuff and I think I don't know what's up with this tire I don't know if there's a hole in it or something or just not sealing correctly so throw some more air in that and then um, depending on how long the stuff on the 88 takes me I might actually get the power steering pump or the no the gearbox um, might even swap that out but if I do that I'm gonna have to go get some more power steering fluid I don't think I have yeah, I don't think I have any laying around but I know I'll get that swapped out and then I think once I pull the old one off I sold the manual gearbox I had on this one to one of my neighbors down the street forget what year he has but he has a money also and he was saying he wanted the pitman off pitman arm off of it so once I pull the old one off of here I might um, just drop the pitman off to him see if I can check out his money a little bit I haven't seen it yet he's only what, five six houses down but he'll, he'll probably swing by here in a little bit on his way to work but let's see that's all I could think of for this one at least um, yeah, not not a whole lot. <laughs> um, let's see. We'll probably drop the other T top off later this week. And like I said, hopefully, hopefully I can get most of the trunk enclosure uh, cut out. I think I'm gonna have to hook the battery back up um, to pop the trunk. But if I get most of that cut out. I'll save the templates. I know I know some of you guys want the templates, but I'll save those, probably transfer them over to some um, 
post a board and just keep those on hand. Um, but other than that, it's gonna be a fairly easy day. So let me stop talking and where do I wanna start? Right to start uh, swapping out these parking lights, mostly because this one is missing. So get those swapped out. I probably could, I think I have a little bit of fiberglass left. Um, I could sand this up and try to close it in a little bit along with this crack down here but we'll see if I have time for that um, but yeah this might just start putting some air in here and then get started on the 88 but man you gotta love that view right there <laughs> yeah I don't know if I mess with them, throw the 20s, or the <laughs> 22s on here, throw the 17s on here. Hey, he, he, said, he said he doesn't want the spacers, but uh, I don't want the spacers either. But I do want to see what this will look like with a little bit larger wheels. Eventually, I think these might find its way on there and might go up a size on my 85. So we'll see. Also need to figure out this again. Like I said, I'm being a little lazy, uh, but yeah, need to get this lengthened a little bit. Um, button some stuff up in the engine bay here, and yeah, I think uh, I think I decided on the route with the exhaust, so that'll be coming at a little bit later date. Order the kit for that and see what I could do. Um, yeah, still need to cut this one and probably put some pie cuts in it or space it out a little bit. So, yeah, um, but like I said, a little bit of a time crunch with the 88. So that's kind of what I'm been spending most of my time on. Just trying to get this, get this knocked out, at least with the stuff that's on my checklist for it. Um, so, yeah, mostly the interior, get, get the floor done, get the interior put back in, and get the trunk enclosure all buttoned up um, and then that's pretty much all on my checklist uh, and tighten up the um, speedo cable coming off the transmission so it stops leaking but other than that I'll cut you guys back on here in a little bit and give you guys an update on what I've done so far alright so I could have cut it a little bit different but I messed up in one section but once it's covered really shouldn't matter um, but I think I got it down to a one piece uh, base on the floor so it fits in and out of here um, it's a little tight but it fits but it is one piece of floor so we're good there um, I said might need a trim no that's good. Nice and tight right up in here. Like I said, I could have probably closed this gap up a little bit more if I'd have measured a few more times. But once it's wrapped, um, like I said, I'll close that up a little bit more. This is a little section I messed up on. I didn't get the right angle there. But like I said, once again, once it's wrapped, that should close it up a little bit more. Um, all nice and tight around here. Like I said, a little notch right here. Um, Goes around there, sits around there perfectly. Ah, perfectly. Um, with the spacers, like I said, it's. Uh, what is this? One by two, so. Inch, which is really not an inch, more like three quarters of an inch. So that's the spacer I'm using on here. Um, this little piece, like I said, I could have, could have kept it. Uh, I could have formed it to this shape, but I think my measurements did a straight line, so I could have kept that. So when I trace over to a template, I'll remember to add that little part in there. And all along here, like I said, it's a little bit of a gap, but um, again, once it's covered, it should be good to go. Should fill in those little edges. I did take the sander and pretty much rounded off all the edges, so everything's nice and smooth. Nice, nice tight fit. I'm happy with it. Um, and then 
like I said, it's, I don't have enough wood to do even the sides. It'd be one side if I did do it, so um, not, not enough. Well, if it's in two pieces maybe, but I'm not going to. I'm not gonna do it in two pieces. I want solid pieces, so um, I definitely have to pick up more wood probably later this week. Might get one side cut out and go from there. Um, but I'm kind of, I'm pretty happy with the <laughs> with the base just being one piece. Like I said, it's it's a tight fit getting in and out. You kind of have to angle it a little bit, but it definitely makes a makes a big difference. Um, a little bit of overhang on here, which if I wanted to, I could cut it. I could cut it, but we'll see. I might use a little overhang for the blocks for the side pieces. Like I said, yeah, it'd be it'd be pretty tight, but the side pieces make a little bracket for it, and we'll be good to go there. Like I said, once I get once I get um once I get a little bit more or get more material I'll finish it up um, probably probably this weekend um, depending on yeah probably this weekend after work I'll pick up the supplies and I think we'll get the materials to wrap it in so before we wrap it I'll be sure to copy this over to some poster board and um, save the template so anybody else wants one um, be able to knock it out a lot easier than having to retrace it out and go back and forth. I'll just pull out the templates, trace it onto some plywood, and we'll go from there. But this is MDF, which is a little bit heavier than the, I think the birch I used on mine. So um, if you are looking for weight savings, the MDF probably not the way to go. Um, look for a different different type of plywood, but at least a half inch for the floor. And I know he wants to do some stuff with the amps on the side, so you don't want to go too thin. Um, too thin if you're trying to add something behind it, the half inch should be good. Um, but yeah, the, I think this back piece, that's going to be a little bit more difficult with the um, sub cut out a little bit. Just have to line everything up just right so um, the braces for the trunk, so that those go in the openings and then the um, opening for the sub is centered so pay a little bit more attention to that um, but also like I said I'll take have some more of this but the scrap pieces I'll probably put a couple well I don't think this will need it on the bottom they might end up on the, on the side of the box just some just some uh, braces and get the angles right so that everything holds everything in place pretty much what I mentioned when I did the uh, 85 when I did the trunk enclosure on that I said it'll probably be probably be one here I know with the MDF it's, um, it's a little bit more difficult to work with um, and screw stuff into it especially along the edge kind of uh, splinters a little bit more so I have to keep keep in mind of that pre-drill the holes and then run the screws down but I think looking straight down at it, it should be good um, should be good to put the brace there and then the side piece will pretty much be flush with this line here so yeah um, now that this is cut out it's pretty much the only thing I could do I'll probably cut out the side or yeah just one of the sides to see how that's gonna look but other than that, I think the trunk enclosure is done for the day until I get more material. Um, what was I doing next? Yeah, next I might uh, do the brace for the shifter. And then, um, yeah, the brace for the shifter and then the parking lights. And if I do anything else after that, I'll be sure to update you guys on that also. All right, so got the parking light swapped out and this one looks like it lines up like it's supposed to so um, like I said it's actually in the opening Well, on this one I know this is supposed to come up a little bit but this side still hangs down is that just from the nose not being 
uh, squared up, which I say is pretty close. But mine's off on both of them. Like I said, mine's a clone, so um, I'm not expecting too much. These probably could come up some, um, but it still seems like the nose hangs a little bit lower, especially on this side. Um, is that normal? Is that just from like the bumpers warping or something? Or do we just need to adjust the nose on both of them? So if you guys know, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be lined up like that one, but I don't know. It's just, is it the nose? Do I need to lift the whole nose up or what? Because everything else seems like it lines up for the most part. I said, if it's just mine, I can see it. But on this one, is it like one side's lined up, the other side's not? Is that just, just a common issue on these things or is there a way to fix it? If you guys know, hit me up in the comments. Let me know if the nose is just off or if they warp or what the problem could be. But got those swapped out. Let me probably lift the car up a little bit, climb up under, try to tighten up the speedo cable and then um, and then I'll build the bracket for the gear shifter other than that it's a pretty simple day like I said it's nice it's nice out um, early December in Colorado so you have your good days you have your bad days we'll see how the rest of the week plays out but try to knock out as much as I can on the 88 today and I may or may not get to the gearbox on the Elko, if I don't get to it today, I'll just come out tomorrow, swap it out. It'll be what? Three bolts, two lines, and then the, the pitman arm to the steering linkage and uh, call it good. I don't have anything planned for the uh, 85 today, so who knows, but I'm gonna get back to it. I'll catch you guys back on here in a little bit with some updates. All right, so I have my speedo cable from the 85 obviously can't use it with the 4080 um, so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna swap this part out or throw the whole cable in there but I'm not gonna hook it up just yet because eventually I think this transmission is coming out also and I'm not sure where the speedo cable or, well, yeah, yeah, I yeah. am. So, it'll be this cable right here, it'll be the Speedo cable. So, um, I'll route it through, but I don't think I'll connect it just yet because I haven't pulled the, the dash out. There's a little clip in there you have to undo. So, I'll swap this out just to seal up the leak a little bit, and hopefully, that stops it. And then, like I said, I'm like having an 88 here for now because I said this little air dam here um, I have two of them so seeing how this one's mounted I'll probably just throw one on my 85 and I said it's still a little a little greasy down here but that pressure washer definitely helped you see this bar here there's no bolt in that one so I'll probably have to find a bolt to throw in there I want those braces for mine too eventually. I'll order some from UMI. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Before I give it back, if it's nice enough, I'll pressure wash it again, get all that uh, grease and grime out of there. But yeah, let me, let me try to swap this out and see if it fixes the problem. I'll switch, I'm about to switch to the camera just so I can show you guys what it looks like on the cable that's on there already. All right, so you kind of see the cable's all loose and then that metal part there um, is coming off. So let's see if I can get back to it. Um, so this metal part here is supposed to be all the way up there which it's not so that's what gave me the idea to swap everything out cables are swapped or the yeah the cables are swapped out you see that one's still leaking I just have it tucked away 
for now. The other one seems like it's sealing up a little bit better, but I didn't hook it up um, to the speedometer. I just touched it away here just so I could see if that fixed the problem or not. They did look a little bit different. The end on that one, on the old one, was a little bit longer than on the new one. So um, that's one of the seal it up to keep it from leaking tucked away some of these wires and um, terminated them a little bit better than they were because they were just pretty much open-ended so terminated all those I was about to pull the horn for the alarm um, seeing how these were cut like they weren't going to anything but these are still hooked up so I'm not sure if they need to um, be hooked up to uh, complete a circuit or not so I'm not, not going to tear that out just yet um, what else up under here oh when I did my headlights I guess they sent a couple extra of these um, headlight adjustments and the springs and everything so I use the springs on mine but I have a another set so if these need it along with the adjusters I have have those so we get this situated um, yeah but just just little stuff I know he mentioned the exhaust leak looking at the um, gasket it is a little a little worn back there um, so might swap a new uh, header gasket on there other than that I still need to take the AC delete plate back off hit the firewall with the with the flap disc and clean that up and then coat that so that might be a tomorrow thing so not too worried about that right now um what else the interior like i said need to organize it a little bit better clean it all out like i said i need to get a new uh, flap disc this one's seen better days so don't want to use it too much and have it come apart so that's why I haven't cleaned up the floor and everything and why I haven't hit the firewall yet but yeah just some some little things no I didn't do a lot but um, just little things here and there just come out a couple hours knock everything out and see what see what happens but yeah that's it for the most part um, I said it's a nice day. I don't want to spend all my all the time out here. So the Elko that might hold off till tomorrow. Same thing with the firewall and the AC delete plate. And then um, I do want to trace this out, so I might do that. I think I have a piece of cardboard left, maybe. Um, I don't know. It might be gone. So. I guess not. Um, so, do want to get that traced out just to um, bring it over to the 85 and see what I can do in here. And then, yeah, I need to get my dash back so I could so I can start buttoning this thing up. So, yeah, that's it. I also want to before this one leaves, I want to get this one on all four and just compare them. See the height difference, the wheel gap, and everything with the 22s versus the 20s, and all that. But that'll be at a later, later date. Um, but yeah, so yeah, wasn't wasn't well. It was a productive day. Um, I wish I'd have been able to at least finish the trunk enclosure, but not enough material. And then just the small stuff up in the engine bay. Got the parking lights on. Did tighten up um, both of these for the uh, master cylinder, tightened up the brake lines, and then cleaned up some wires and whatnot. But just a little bit here and there. I'll try to keep you guys updated as much as I can. Um, but sometimes just want to come out here, knock everything out. Don't even pick up the camera, but I, I try to pick it up for you guys. So, um, yeah, I'll probably end up calling it a day go grab some lunch and catch you guys back on tomorrow